it's uh, what is it? Six o'clock in the morning almost um, on a damp day uh, in April. Uh, heading towards um, Donington Race Circuit. Um, I have won a uh, draw with uh, Mission Motorsport. And the draw was to uh, go and work in the pit lane at Donington British uh, Touring Car Championships. Um, so that's where I'm off to now. Uh, about um, an hour before I get to Donington. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll update you more when I get there what's going on and no doubt do some video of the cars and the pit lanes and stuff really looking forward to it and uh, thanks to Mission Motorsport there we are we're at Donington um, outside the uh, race circuit office and as you can see I'm waiting to be picked up um, by the team but it's absolutely hooling it down lovely day and meanwhile I'm stood outside here getting soaked and these lucky buggers are uh, Getting off somewhere on holiday, somewhere hot and sunny probably. The sky's like it, very well. You can see just rows and rows and rows of trucks for the different teams. Tire oh, fitting, good year. And all kinds of. Uh, we're with the uh, Toyota Gazoo Racing. Team, and there uh, with the hospitality suite, which is uh, just over here, and uh, just going back in there now in the warm for a cup of tea, I think. So this is the uh, behind the pits in the uh, Donington, Castle Donington circuit. Um, all the races so far today because of the rain have been cancelled because the track is waterlogged. So there's uh, no racing going on at the moment. Uh, just a lot of people stood around waiting and seeing if the weather changes. But it's, uh, it may or may not do. So there's no, there's no like, road car, standard road car suspension goes up and down for comfort, whereas on these they run runways, because we need, we have to fit it in somehow, so there's, there's a shock. So rather than a road car being upright, we've got room and... So you can if you need an ambulance, just give me a shout. <laughs> 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 That's a dangerous statement, it is, mate. Far more than I was expecting. Yeah. So the whole the whole front end is full built. So the, this part is standard across the yeah. cars, yeah. Uh, like the paddock. Um, and then obviously the cars made wider. Um, yeah. And we we all this is fiberglass, fiberglass. The doors have to be metal. The roof has to be metal. Ooh. Windscreens, perspex. Driver's window. I think I mean, are they still glass on these roofs? No, okay. So poly right. um, side windows, yeah. obviously tinted. And then glass, uh, five glass spats on the back just to bring the rear end up. Yeah. What's the life expectancy of an engine in one of these? It's got to do a season. It's full season? It's got, yeah, they've got the regs have it and they've got to full season. Yeah. Yeah. Just tell us to go off the way. Uh, yeah. like, what size engine is it?
See, there's an awful lot of radicals there. <coughs> it's at least stopped raining now, yeah. and we're having a walk around the uh, the pits and having a look at all the different cars and what's going on. Uh, the touring cars are out at the moment for the first race. It's about one o'clock or something like that. They should have been out about 10:15. So, what other races are going to happen today? Who knows? I bought a new camera yesterday I was going to bring today, but I didn't bother. One of these 360 ones, you know, I bought, bought yesterday.
I do, YouTube videos, you see. So, so I tend to record about 20 times more than I need. Yeah. Because you can always edit so out, but you can always take out, but you can't put back in what you missed. Yeah. Here we have a mini mechanic cleaning the car. Well, you've done that, lad. My, my car's in the car park. <laughs> Start. Um, then we've got the safety car for a long time while they uh, repair the barriers and uh, had a problem with other marshals, I believe, but everything seems to be okay. We got going again. Um, they made some good places, I think four or five places, until uh, about four laps after the safety car we got a big hit from behind and uh, that put us off sailing through the gravel, dropped a load of time. Tried to catch the pack back up, but unfortunately just uh, wasn't enough laps, which was a shame because the car was going well. Everything was feeling good and uh, we were making good progress. So, just wanted to try and get inside the top 10, score some good points. But, uh, alas, we start again at the back and we'll have to do it all over again. Do you like the challenge though, right? Uh, apparently so, yeah. <laughs> and I've been tried with them so far this year. And so, Andrew, OT, you finished on qualifying yesterday, didn't you? How was it out there, Yeah, qualifying was, was good, as we said. And just got a good start, so holding sick and in those conditions. You're just feeling your way around and, and seeing what's going to work and what's not going to work. So I was pretty comfortable with that long safety car, looking after the tires, it was drying up, so I knew there were going to be a struggle at the end. And then after the safety car, the brake pedal went to the floor, so I didn't have any brakes the last eight laps, which kept me on my toes. Uh, so probably another couple of laps and, and we wouldn't have made it. So to finish 10th of the record we did was, was not bad. And, and, in reality, so make a few changes now. I'll have a dry race. Rob and I will have a full hybrid here, so try and, try and go forward. Um, but yeah, for, you know, the first weekend is it's always good fun to be back here. And thanks everyone for coming. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to two more races. It's going to be a long day. So, yeah, there's definitely a feel of it's like the first day back at school, really, isn't it? Um, so, in terms of the next race, what are the goals? So, you said it's like the top 10. So I mean, that would be delightful um, to, to kickstart some points off uh, inside the top 10. Obviously, um, track's completely different to what we've seen uh, all weekend, so uh, everyone's on the same tyres, so that's first one sort of uh, fundamental thing that um, isn't going to be different for anyone else, we're all on the same tyres. Um, and then it's just a case of 
I think Andrew and I have done quite a lot of setup work for the car this weekend, just exploring what it likes, what it doesn't like. Um, we discovered this morning, I think, that we were both very happy when it was properly wet, uh, a little practice warm up against the soil. I think in that race, it, it probably just dried a bit quick for us. We were sort of full wet set up. And, uh, you know, you never would have believed if you saw the track this morning that it was ever going to dry. And uh, it definitely got quite dry at the end there. So, fingers crossed, just uh, a nice, lonely race overtaking people would be wonderful. Thanks, Rana. Yes. And so, of course, both new to the team this year, for new driving the Aquarius. It's great to get your thoughts on how the cars feel after your first limited racing action with them. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, Marshall Powers is going off the circuit. Uh, this race is going to be over uh, 24 laps. That was the original uh, race distance, so we don't need to go down to the course before that race for the 30 minutes. Uh, Marshall Powers is going to be old McLaren. <laughs> Lovely colour. As you can see, the weather did eventually improve at uh, Donington and the sun eventually did come out uh, and the racing commenced. And I won a great tool set by uh, finding a terminal socket in a bag of sockets. Quite easy, really. Anyway, um, that's about it from me, really. And uh, I'll put some footage of the race itself in as well uh, in a bit. But uh, thanks to Mission Motorsport and Toyota Gazoo Racing for uh, an excellent day, given the weather.